Hello everyone, and welcome back to Farm Simmer 22. We're back here on No Man's Land with Grover Games. The last month we only got our corn in, but we got our we got our oats field all sprayed for weeds, so the weeds are under control there. And today I'm going heading in to pick up our side dresser finally, because I think we'll be side dressing this episode. Uh, one of the things that we had issues with the last episode is that psycho plant, that psycho planter, that psycho planter I almost said there. It ended up not working with the AI in this game. So I did a little off-screen experimentation and I think I figured out a workaround for it. So I think we should be good there. The only real issue is that the 1086 struggles a little bit with with it more now. And it's it's because I ended up adding a starter fertilizer tank on it. And I ended up putting a just a little bit of starter fertilizer in it just so that way it can work and that way if we need a helper to take over we can always have a we could always hire someone now to do it so I don't plan of to apply any starter to anything so it'll just sit there with that little bit amount of starter that I set that I basically put in there so that way it'll be we'll be able to hire someone to help us out during this month. The one thing I'm noticing is we're start, it feels like we're going through our TMR ration quite a bit for our cattle because I was kind of checking it out this morning. And it, they have gone through almost like 5,000 liters of TMR mixture since yesterday. And they've gone. They haven't gone through near as much, but they're still they're going through quite a bit. Uh, before I forget, though, oh, drop that. We'll have to get the seventy twenty out today as well to get that set up and ready to go. But before I forget, let's get the cattle around bale here. Get them bedded, because if I don't do it now, I know I'll I'll forget later. Back up around here. And I'm I'm wondering if I should start mixing another some more TMR. Grant, we still got quite a bit yet, because we're still I left probably about fifteen thousand liters on the Oh, on the little machine itself. The little mixer itself inside the barn. I just don't know if we should start mixing more because we're probably gonna have I'm probably gonna spend next month hauling a couple loads up to the pasture I kinda would like them to work through their hay first before I take them anymore oh, there we go have a tight squeeze to get in that barn so they're, they're gonna be good for a while now <clears throat> but we aren't we aren't really going through straw that fast, which is kind of good news, but kind of bad just because we just planted all that oats. But like I said, worst case scenario, we just end up stockpiling a bunch of straw and we'll be we'll be set for a while. And then if we want to, we could skip a year plant oats and put something else in. But right now, I think I'm going to hop. Yeah, we're going to hop into the, uh, the 1086 here. But yeah, as you can see, I I put on a little starter tank. Well, I shouldn't say a little. That's that's a pretty good sized starter tank. But that was the only way I could fig figure out out how to kind of bypass the AI thinking the tank is empty and that it needs it. So it needs to be filled. And let's get this. Oh, am I not close enough? We're gonna get get this loaded with seed today. I'm, I don't think I needed two bags, but I rather I rather have the one extra bag just in case. There we are. So let's go out with this. So I think I'll start I'll start back here with this field. Gosh, this ten eighty six is really struggling to pull this load. This planter might be a little too much for it.
But I think what we'll do is we'll start back here. And we'll do at least the outside rounds. And I'm probably going to do the rounds right around this rock here myself. So that way we don't have any issues with the helper. I still think that's the coolest animation ever. Let's drop this. Say so it better not be doing any fertilization. I cranked it all the way down. At least I tried. Oh, oh. Uh, won't let me crank it down all the way. So let's let's just turn the automatic application rate off because we we know for beans it's not going to apply anything just because beans don't need for don't need starter. <coughs> so we'll do that. Now I'll fix that issue. And then worst case scenario for corn, it'll just we'll just turn turn off the automatic application rate, and we'll just apply a little bit of starter. I know I know a lot of people still believe in applying starter when they plant, and they'll just apply just a little bit to help get the crops started in its early stages, and then they'll go back and side dress. So that's that's not the biggest deal in the world to me right now. But right now, I don't think we have much else planned for this month. I think we're gonna look here. We're gonna get the beans knocked out. We're gonna get side dressing, and then we'll work on spraying afterwards. I think we're gonna try and make make the 1086 more of the spraying tractor, just so we don't put so many hours on our on our nicer 7520. I rather I'd rather put the hours on something that I, I can see us getting rid of in the future. But this, this tractor will be hanging out for a while. And that's what, I know that's what I said, I'm sitting here thinking, I said that once before about the, this 5288 and look what happened to that thing. I got, I got rid of it within a couple of years and I, I still regret that now because I feel like it probably could handle this, this planner a little bit better than the, oh. A little bit better than this tent this 1086 is but like I said I think it's because this with the the gear shifting style it kind of messes with it with everything a little bit more but we'll we'll finally jump into the time lapse here and we'll see you guys at the end
All right, everyone, this is where we're going to start wrapping up today's episode. So we had a couple issues. The side dresser, uh, the AI does not like the, running the side dresser either, I noticed, because it kind of went back and up and down the field in the same spot where it does before, and I kind of noticed that it leaves streaks, but it's it says it's all fully fertilized, so it, it does work to a point. I'm just not sure if I like the idea of haven't I'm gonna have I'm never gonna be able to hire a helper again for all to help side dress and such and right now we're getting the last of our corn sprayed here so we're we'll be good to go I kinda kinda had a scatterbrain moment when I turned into the wheat field up there so we got a few tire tracks going through there and killed off some not wheat oat field there excuse me and we I just can't kinda, kinda went scatterbrain there for a second so we we, lo we lost some of our oat harvest there, but it's not the biggest loss in the world. It could be a lot worse. So right now I'm trying to decide if I want to keep the side dresser next year. Just because, like I said, the biggest issue I have with it is if I can't really hire any helpers, it's, it's not going to be great for us in the long run of things. So I'm... I'm going to debate that for for next episode or two. Otherwise, it works like it should. I, I really liked just having the concept of side dressing corn instead of just spraying nitrogen on top of it. But, I like I said, that's with the fact that it the helper can't seem to make progress on the field with it. It's just probably not going to work out quite like I hoped, unfortunately. I didn't realize that was going to be an issue. Uh, I I don't think about testing a lot of this a lot of the equipment if you haven't noticed on the AI so or the help then game helpers get this filled up here. But we really put the international t through a workout today. So we overall it was a it was a good day. I'm right now we're working on getting our Oh, getting our silage mixed here, or TMR mixed here. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna take a take a little drive this up there. It goes 15 miles an hour, so it's not the slowest thing in the world. I'm just gonna drive this up there for now. No, nope. otherwise normally I'm just gonna dump it out just cause how how wiggly it is. I'm I'm afraid I'm gonna tip it on its side, but I just want to just gonna s try and save a little bit time time today instead of just pulling out the skid loader and dumping it all on the ground and picking it all up. But I'm I'm happy with that cyclone planner. I think it was a good purchase. Kind of sucks that we had to put a f starter tank on it just to, a fertilizer tank on it just to get the helper to work. But you know at least. At least we found a solution so we didn't have to get rid of it. That's kind of kind of what I'm happy with right now. So let's see here. Yeah, we should be fine for the most part. Um let's going to see total capacity. So we should finish filling up before we Oh. Yeah, I think 30,000 is probably the pasture's limit. Nope. That'll be more than enough. As long as we won't have to worry about them for a while, we'll be sitting pretty good. And it's going to be kind of interesting with corn harvest this year, just because we have quite a bit less corn than we normally do. And I'm trying to figure out... That's down to 65, I wonder. Nitrogen. Oh. So I'm wondering, I've been wondering, with all these environmental scores, so I'm, oh, oh shoot, that's all going to fit in there. Well, I guess, I guess that's a thing, will this, oh, 50,000, okay, well that's fine, well, it'll be fine. 
But back to what I was saying. I, th I think the environmental score is not taken in consideration our natural fertilizer that we're getting from the crops from the previous year when we, previous years when we till it underground. So when we lose score for planting beans on ground with nitrogen in it, it's it's actually hurting us even though we're not applying any. But that nat I wonder if that natural nitrogen that is being left behind is what's messing up the score so much anymore. Because that's only that's the only thing that makes sense to me, and it and it and it does make logical sense in that aspect. But I don't I don't feel like we should get docked for it quite like the way we are, especially since we can't control what's left behind for natural nitrogen. I'll turn this off. We don't need that anymore. I'm trying to decide if I want to throw another bale in there. Let's close that up for now. But I think I'm going to spend some time getting some stuff cleaned up and put away so our yard doesn't get super super messy again like it did last year but this is where we'll wrap up today's episode i like if you guys like the video please give it a thumbs up it really helps out the channel if you're enjoying the content please subscribe so you can stay up to date to the latest latest series above all else i hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day and most of all thanks for watching mm -hmm.